How are y'all doing today? Um, I wanted to share a dream with y'all that I had probably when I was in the 5th or the 6th grade. And believe it or not, the Lord just is like, in spirit, is just like, you know, Jess, you need to share this dream real quick because the rapture is so imminent. We're not going to be here anymore, you know. Just really, past couple of days, wanted me to share my dream with y'all and I've got like four scriptures in the Bible to back it up with and believe it or not I remember it just like it was yesterday <clears throat> I was sick that night and um, I was laying on the couch and I remember my mom sitting on the couch praying for me and uh, I guess to, make, to pray to Jesus that I would feel better but anyway all of a sudden I went into this dream now I remember I'm in, like in the fifth or the sixth grade and then all of a sudden up here, oh, by the, by the way, this dream is about the great white throne judgment. So, anyway, so I appear at this, this white place, and it's, I don't know, I can't really explain it really good, and it was like all white everywhere, and I just took one step forward, and all of a sudden Jesus appeared. And Jesus had the crown of thorns on his head, and you know he had his uh, his long, his brown hair, probably about shoulder length, and he had he had a a beard, you know, it was brown, <sighs> and um, he had such a a sad, sad, sad look. I've never seen Jesus with such a sad look on his face before. <clears throat> And I took one step forward, and he had appeared, and he said, Did you love me? And I, being barely even able to speak, because, you know, I'm, because it's Jesus, you know. I was, it was just me and Jesus standing there, and I was getting judged. And Jesus said, Did you love me? <clears throat> and I said, Yes. And so we looked over to the left, and there was like these giant jumbotron screens reflected on everybody's life but the funny thing is it wasn't my life it was other people's life and then after we had viewed that and I turned back and looked at Jesus and Jesus is just such a despair look on his face he said did you have faith in me and I s barely being able to speak again it's just like yes yeah. like you know like that he said, did you have faith in me? And I said, of course, yeah. I said, yes. And then I woke up and I was in such a cold sweat. Like, I I literally thought I had died and, and was in the judgment. Like, never before have I ever experienced a dream like this again. It will ever happen in my life. And I'm 20 now. So I just turned 20. So you're... Mm, I was probably about 11 or 12, and I've kept this dream. I never really had, you know, the, an urge to tell people until now. I mean, I remember this dream like it was yesterday. And um, my mom knows and a couple other people in my family. Because I don't like to go about bragging about the dreams I've had. But anyway, the scripture to back it up with. Because all throughout the Bible, it always talks about judgment. And you know, coming with what Dr. O.R. says and about the coming wrath and judgment and the rapture of the church. This is in, in Ecclesiastes 11, chapter 11, verse 5. Be happy, young man, while you are young, and let your heart give you joy in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart and whatever your eyes see, but know that for all these things, God will bring you to judgment. So, that's Ecclesiastes 11, chapter 11, verse 5. <clears throat> and here's another one in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. And this is Jesus speaking, but I tell you that men will, give, will have to give you to give an account on the day of judgment for every careless word 
that you have spoken. So that's another <clears throat> book in the Bible that talks about judgment. And here's one, and it's in Romans chapter 2, verse 6. And God will give each person according to what he has done. Again, that's judgment. Let's see here. And then 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. Therefore, judge nothing before the appointed time. Wait till the Lord comes. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will expose the motives of men's hearts. At the time, each will receive his praise from God. So again, we're talking about more judgment. And I don't think I had another one. So I believe that's four. But yeah, it's just all throughout the Bible you can go online and you can search, and then you can search through your Bible, and it's always talking about the coming wrath and coming judgment, and I feel, because time is over, you know it's over, because I wear glasses, right? Well, I was in the bathroom, well, I was just, I had to clean off my glasses, because there's something on there, and Spirit told me, your glasses are going to break, and lo and behold, what happened? My glasses just broke. So, I gotta go. I don't know how long I, I'm gonna have to go before I get my glasses. I'm gonna have to get new ones, of course. So, but you know what? It's okay, because in the end, when the rapture happens and we get our glorified bodies, I ain't gonna have to worry about wearing glasses anymore. I'll be able to see. See clear. You all know. But, uh, just wanted to give you give y'all that and um keep keep looking up jesus is coming you know we ain't gonna be here much longer it's it's so hard i mean this is it's just like it's like every day the devil tries to drag you down and you just you got it like paul says in the in the bible you run the race until the very last second, you got to keep going. you got to keep pushing. You can't backslide. You can't do nothing. Because in the end, if you keep pressing inward and, and getting to know Jesus and the Father and the Spirit, in the end, there's heavens waiting for us, y'all. <laughs> and uh, If y'all are watching this video and... We can ride dirt bikes in heaven. <laughs> so, um, because I love to ride. So, I've had to watch myself because that's, that's, had become a big idol in my life is, uh, riding dirt bikes. Knock my hat off. Oh, y'all. Snap back to Jesus. But anyway, I just wanted to share y'all that. And, um, like I said, we we got to keep pushing. We got to keep going because time is it's over. Like <clears throat> Or Doctor Or says, and then Brother LV. Just like they all say, you know, all the believers, and it's it's hard. I mean, we just got to keep pushing. And I know, like it seems like it's taken forever for Jesus to come back, but you know what? In reality. God invented time. God can speed up time. God can stop time. God can rewind time and we not even know it. It's God. I mean, it's our Father. He created everything. But y'all know, keep faith in Christ. And my verse that I live by every day, you know, is uh, Mark 9, 23. <clears throat> and that, uh, is uh, believing all things are possible to him who believes. And that's what we just got to keep doing, you know. Well, God bless. And I wanted to show you, share with y'all that. And I hope it's a blessing to y'all. And um, don't go to the great white, thr white throne judgment to get judged. I've seen it. I've been there. It's the scariest thing in my life. I couldn't go back to sleep after that. So y'all know what it'd be like on a little 11-year-old girl, <laughs> or anybody for that matter. Well, God bless, and uh, keep safe. Jesus is coming soon.